Michael was mentioning at the uh, start of this about the deafening ovation that greeted Danny Gall. It really was something else. They've waited so long for this, over a hundred years to finally make the breakthrough. This is the team that one way or another today will make their own piece of history. And traditionally going into the huddle now for the last words of advice. Absolute perfect conditions for a game now. The wind has died and the sun has come in. So off we go then. Bonner. Aimed inside. Joyce McMullen in there challenging. Comes down here. And it's hit up off the post from James McHugh. Martin McHugh fires it over the bar. It was the very least that attack deserved. Martin McHugh then opens Donegal's scoring account. Sheedy gathering towards Vinnie Murphy. It's looking good for Vinnie Murphy against Matt Gallagher. Ominous for Donegal in these early minutes of this match, and that's gone over the bar. There can't have been too much in it. Now Donald Reid has intimated that he plans to retire from senior football after this final. That's in towards Manus Boyle. Jersey tug fell inside nicely. James McHugh. And that's sailed over the bar. Well, Dublin, as we said earlier, inclined to lose concentration from time to time, and that was one instance. This is Jack Sheedy against uh, Martin McHugh. Did good work to come back, makes the kick difficult for Jack Sheedy, who watches, and the umpire gives the positive salute. Donegal behind by just a point, by five points to four, coming looking for an equalising score. Martin McHugh, one of the cleverest footballers in the country. Still Martin McHugh drawing four Dublin defenders to him, and he slots it over the bar for the equaliser. Two points for Martin McHugh. Manus Boyle feeding it back here. Tony Boyle to Manus, I should say. Now Tony once again. He's kicked it well, and he's kicked it truly, and he's put it over the bar. In by Curran, won smartly, however, by Anthony Malloy, the Donegal team captain. That's going to be the end of the first half. Tommy Sugro's whistle, not heard by too many people. A rip-roaring first half. It's Donegal, a lead by three points. Half-time score, Donegal, ten points. Dublin, seven. So the second half gets underway, and Donegal trying to protect their three-point lead. It's Manus Boyle who comes out to take this one. Tagging on another score. So they go point for point at the start of the second half. Charlie Mulgrew there among the substitutes there. One of the more experienced players available to the uh, manager. He should be called into action. Niall Guyton. And Niall Guyton pops it over the bar. Johnny Gall, 14 points, Dublin 9. And Tony Boyle, challenged by Paul Clark, comes back here again. Still advancing, Manus Boyle. Manus looks to put this one on its way, and it's over the bar. Is that the kind of point that will now ensure Johnny Gall's first All Ireland? Trying to open up the play across here with young Niall Guyton. Guyton against Donal Reid. Oh, into space neatly for Heary to come on to. Usually scores a point. And that's his regular point in the championship for the afternoon. And Brian McInniff urging them on. Nearly 18 and a half minutes gone in the second half. Joyce McMullen. Is this to be it for Danny Gall? It would be a victory that would give a great deal of heart to so many counties around the country. Bonner has put it over. Four points for Declan Bonner. Martin McHugh there, anxious for the full-time whistle. And it's over! And Danny Gall has won the All-Ireland final. They win by four points. A tremendous contribution by Manus Boyle with nine. Declan Bonner with four. The man directing operations, Martin McHugh, got three. The team captain, Anthony Malloy, gave a stirring performance in midfield. Their backs were quite superb. And it's a win that will thrill Gaelic fans, I'm sure, throughout the country. History is made. Anthony Malloy, the first Danny man to lift Sam.
match underway. 123rd All Ireland final. Again, it's Mark McHugh. It's this time Rory Gallagher has taken over that role. Controlled here by Carol Lacey. 45 metres out from the target. Beautifully in there to Murphy. Great shot, great goal. Two minutes and 25 seconds on the clock when he got that. What a start for Danny Gall here. Murphy wins the first ball in, and it's a dream start for the favourite. Danny Gall advance. Dangerous situation, and it's Paddy McBriarty. Comes back down again. Back to McFadden. It's another one, and it's Colin McFadden this time with a goal after 11 minutes. His seventh ever championship goal. Slipped into the half forwards here. Back to Colin McFadden it comes, kicking from 45 metres with unerring accuracy. How about that? What a score. A goal and two points now. The goal coming after 11 minutes, his first point was a free, and that one brilliantly put over. Jason Doherty now. This time, Killian O'Connor taking over, hitting it, hitting it to the right, kept in place somehow there by Ender Varley, back down as far as McLaughlin, and a nice easy point taken there by Kevin McLaughlin. Two points for him. This is Colin Boyle, pursued by Leo McLoon. Referee saw the foul, quickly taken. Good work here by Michael Conroy. He's working across that line from right to left and he's keeping Neil McGee on his toes and he's getting in timely shots like that and he's put it over the bar. And it's a very good point by Michael Conroy. And at half-time in the All-Ireland final, it's Donegal who lead. Donegal, two goals and four points. Mayo, seven points. Handled with difficulty there by Paddy McBriarty. Saw a shot come down off the... Upright earlier on before Colin McFadden got the second goal for Danny Gall. It's back once again with McGlynn, 45 metres from the target. McGlynn once more. Vaughan trying to get in a track tackle, but he doesn't succeed, and that one is beautifully over the bar. Frank McGlynn from just inside the 45 metre line. He's got a goal and a point so far. His goal, the first uh, score after three minutes. A little under that, in fact, but... Uh, Recorded as being in the third minute. This one high up into the air and between the posts and over the bar. Another one for the wonderful Glenn Swilly man, the captain of this team. Back it comes here once again to Rory Kavanagh. Dangerous ball in! Could have gone anywhere, it's uh, gone over the bar. And it's Michael Murphy once again, goal and four now for him. Well, he came in there fearlessly, tapped that ball. If they can win some primary possession in and around midfield, because Donegal have been known in the past to take their foot off the pedal, metaphorically, for the last few minutes. Lee Keegan advancing, hitting with some difficulty. It's up into the air. Oh, lands on the netting and goes over the bar. Amazingly. It's sheer agony for Mayo and their followers. No county deserves to lose like they have lost, but it happens, that's sport, and we all know about that. They ran into a very, very tough Donegal team as Michael Murphy went down injured. It's all over, and Donegal are the All-Ireland champions. They'll leap for joy. Jim McGuinness there, Rory Kavanagh. Rory Gallagher, I should say. 20 years on from the day the Tyr Connell men won their first. They've won another. Then it was Brian McIniff calling the shots. And now it's Jim. Jim McGuinness has guided a group of talented, highly motivated players. He's challenged them to do it his way. And the players have bought into the notion. Michael Murphy from Glen Swilly, only 23 years of age, takes the Sam McGuire Cup from Liam O'Neill. Donegal are champions. Champions for the second time. And very, very worthy champions. <laughs>